Welcome to day 21 of my 365 day vlogging experiment where I am documenting my business journey in starting an online photography business and growing my personal brand in the health and fitness industry. The power is out in the studio today in the entire neighborhood. Neighborhood. I can't say that word. Neighborhood. 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 In the hood. The power is out in the hood. And my camera is about to die because I forgot to charge it last night. But I still wanted to hop in front of the camera real quick to do my little intro and to share some amazing, amazing news. Okay, how do I, how do I even begin this? The online photography business that I keep talking about in these vlogs and that I say that that's the journey that I'm documenting, and I'm probably not going to share too much about it on here yet. I will soon though. But anyway, I put some of my photos on a website to sell. And a couple of months ago, before I started this vlogging experiment, I made my very, very first sale on that website and I was over the moon. I was just freaking out. I even started crying and it was just the most amazing thing. And then a few weeks after that, I made a second sale on that website. I put my photos on this website so that I can get to know that platform just to become familiar with that space. I'm not actively trying to sell those images. I'm not marketing it anywhere. But last night, I, the husband and I were in the studio and we were just wrapping some things up. I was already starting the edit on yesterday's vlog. We were basically getting ready to wrap it up for the night and go to bed. And I checked my email on my phone and I saw that I made another sale on that website. <laughs> but it wasn't like in the two months before. Those sales were just for one individual image. The sale that I made yesterday, last night, was for a package of images. and. It was not that much money at all. But I made a sale of one of my little packages that I put together and I couldn't believe it. I sat there and I wish I would have recorded. I wish I would have picked up my camera and recorded that because it was pretty cool. But honestly, I was like embarrassed. I was, because like I said, it was at the end of the night and we were just wrapping it up. But oh my gosh, I was so excited to get in front of the camera today and share that with you. It was such a cool moment. And again, it was not, it's not much money. It was like less than $50. But still, it was just amazing. Those images are there on that website. Like I said, I haven't actively gone full force on that. And the fact that I was still able to provide something for somebody in an online transaction type way, which is what I want to do, was so cool. It was just such a cool thing. I know it's a small win, but it felt like, the most massive win. It was, I mean, I hope this doesn't sound bad, but it probably will, but it's all good. It was just as awesome and, um, and exciting and exhilarating as the time I sold one of my larger photog wedding photography packages when I had my wedding photography business. I'm fascinated with this concept, with the idea, with the fact that I even get to try this online business thing, that I even, oh, just this whole thing is so cool. I Maybe it was a good thing that I didn't pick up the camera yesterday because I would have done this and just gone off with like all these different thoughts and just speaking with all the excitement in the world. So anyway, and now moving on with my day. And like I said, the power is out. So basically it's myself and my notebook and my phone, not even my phone because my phone's at like 20%. So I'm gonna focus on looking at some of the things that I've worked on on my notebook and if for some reason the power is just not on in the next few hours, I'm probably gonna have to take my iPad to Starbucks and work out of there or something because, come on, I need the internet, I need the computer, I need to do something. I haven't even finished yesterday's, editing yesterday's vlog, so hopefully I get to do that soon and hopefully the power will be on soon. Actually, one more thing I forgot to mention. Actually, two things. One, the power just came on as soon as I was done recording that last clip. And two, on my way home from my workout this morning, I was listening to a podcast, obviously the Gary Vaynerchuk audio experience. What else do I listen to? And it was the pod sessions. I finished up the pod sessions, uh, pod session number three or four, maybe five, I don't know, with um, Rich Roll, who is amazing. He's an ultra marathon vegan runner and he is awesome. I love listening to his podcast as well. But they were talking about the process, the journey, and how it's these, it's the little grungy, like raw, unfiltered moments in that process in between that they truly value. And these are people who are like doing it, who are running businesses and doing all these awesome things. And yet they say that the moments that they remember 
are the hard moments, the, the times that things were rough and the times that they were trying to figure things out and they remember those moments and appreciate those moments the most. And in fact, Gary mentioned that years ago he went into the Twitter offices, you know, like the social media platform Twitter, and he remembers when there was only six people in the office, in the entire company, and now I, I don't know how many people are employed at Twitter, but I know for a fact it's more than six people. And he said, like, how cool would it have been to have a vlog of that moment when there was only six people at Twitter? And same with Rich Roll. He mentioned how in his ultra marathon runs, the times that he remembers are and appreciates are the times that he didn't want to get out of bed to train. And it was the hardest moment. All of this to say that. I was driving home smiling because I was thinking, okay, I'm recording this, I'm documenting this, it's just me in my ghetto office and trying to figure things out, getting in front of the camera every day and it's still so incredibly awkward just in case you're wondering and talk about my thoughts and how I'm going to do this and seeing myself slowly, slowly figure it out but I'm like, okay, if and when, but mostly when, I am at a point where I have a team of people that I can lead and work with and I'm producing content the way that I dream about doing it. It's gonna be really cool to look back on these vlogs and be like, oh my gosh, do you remember when you were sitting on the floor in your ghetto office looking like a hot mess, recording your thoughts about your editorial calendar or about the process or about your first tiny little sale and things like that. So hearing that podcast again also motivated me to keep going even with documenting this sometimes very uncomfortable journey of figuring out my thoughts, figuring out how I want to approach this next stage in my life and how I want to approach growing an online business and my personal brand. I literally wrote down some of the things that I wanted to chat about on here on a post-it because I'll forget by the end of the day, I'll totally forget and then I'll ramble on. So today was pretty basic but like a good basic because I worked on, hey guess what, more editorial calendar, more content planning stuff and actually I set a goal for April. Like most of the other things that I've talked about on here, it's super bold. We have um, a small trip coming up in April so I'm not going to be in front of my computer, I'm not going to be in the studio so it's going to be, oh it's getting really bright, it's gloomy all day and then now the sun is shining in on us. Okay I'm shifting this around a little bit, maybe this will work. And now you can see this guy. So like I was saying, I have to get a lot of things ready to post for the month of April. So of course I decide that I'm going to post every single day in April and that I can plan all of that within the next two weeks. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm starting my podcast in April. I'm, no, I was going to say supposedly, but no, I'm posting every day on my blog in April and like four to five times a week on YouTube, not including this vlog. So I'm just going all in. It's it's kind of nuts, but again, I'm excited about it. And I think something that prompted all of this craziness, good craziness, as I was prepping for the content for April, I found a lot of blog posts similar to, kind of like what I talked about yesterday, but I found a lot of blog posts, a lot of things that I had already written and I had started like in 2016. That's two years ago. I don't know why I didn't post them. Honestly, I think a lot of it had to do with me not having like a clear direction of exactly why I was writing those things and I was just like kind of embarrassed and like, oh, but I don't want to pretend to talk about things that I really don't know a lot about and just I had a lot of fear of what other people were going to think of me. Going through all of that work that I had already done, again, just sitting on my computer, I was like, you know what? No, no more of this. I felt more determined than ever to continue with what I'm doing. I know I talked a little bit about this in yesterday's vlog, but I just gotta stay the course. I just gotta keep going day by day, blog post by blog post, video by video, I just have to keep going. And I'm so over the whole like caring what people think and I just, it's not even worth like getting into because it's just not something I'm concerned with anymore. That's one of the many reasons I'm finally allowing myself to just go all in and go full force on the things that I know are going to be good, on the things that I really believe in and the things that really, really excite me. And so before I wrap up this vlog, another thing that I, that I worked on today was, I mean, I didn't really work on it, it didn't take long. I entered to win a spot on a program called 4Ds that Gary Vaynerchuk and his company VaynerMedia put together for business owners to come to the, to the VaynerMedia offices and spend a day learning how they operate their business and learning how to use those tools 
in your own business. And even though I'm just starting my business and building my personal brand, it would be so amazing to be able to go. The price to go to something like this is like $10,000. It's in New York City and that is not including the flight there. So it's a very big deal. So I saw that he released that today. So I did what they were asking for to enter the contest and I posted it on Twitter. And it's funny because just this morning, I sent Gary a tweet. <laughs> It's so, I talk about him like I'm on a first name basis with him, like I know him, like we go way back or something. I sent him a tweet about VoiceCon, which is something else that he's doing. He's putting together a voice conference in May. And I was like, you know what, if, if I need to be there, maybe I can find a way to be there. And so I sent him a tweet and I was like, hey, are you offering any scholarships for VoiceCon? He must get like thousands of tweets a day. So I doubt that he saw it, but soon after I sent him that tweet, he released that contest for four D's and I was like, well, I might as well enter that too because you never know. And when the husband got home from work, I was like, you know what? I thought I was gonna meet Gary later on in life, but I think it's gonna happen sooner. And I told him about what I was planning and I really, really hope that I win and I get a spot to four D's. I mean, my gosh, how unreal would that be? And if I do get a spot, you best believe I'm going to share it on this vlog and I'm not gonna like filter myself like yesterday where I was embarrassed to pick up the camera over the sale that I made. I'm gonna pick up the camera and flip out and share on here and document that. Hopefully that happens and if it's not that, I know that it'll be something else that's amazing. Anyway, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow.